Hey yo everybody, so I'm actually in the process of recording my 1000 subscriber special right now. I turn my camera off to cool it down, I open Twitter, and Horror Night Nightmares has dropped the third speculation map for Halloween Horror Nights 32, and I had to jump on here and offer my little breakdown, my thoughts on what I'm seeing here because a lot has changed. We have scare zones now, we have shows, we have more fleshed out houses and locations. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it and go beat by beat and talk about what we see here because I like what I see. First off, right as we enter the park, we see something called Carnival of Oddities Horde. Now obviously hordes, we know them, chainsaw drill teams and things of that nature, we love them. And as it says, Carnival of Oddities really strengthens that rumor that Oddfellow is going to come back. That's of course been something talked about since the last speculation map dropped, and with this, I really think that Oddfellow could be coming back in some sort of way. Obviously we have the Carnival of Oddities, and his carnival was the Carnival of Thrills, so not too far off. That's right at the front of the park and as we move slightly up we see a picture of a bunch of trees and a big slash now as you can see demon slayer which was on the previous speculation map has been dropped off and now we have this trees and slash image i think this is really interesting and i feel like it's leading to something quite unique there were talks about this being a japanese version of the yeti sort of another japanese creature that is similar to a yeti and if this lines up i think i think we could be having another yeti style house on our hands over here in this first house location moving up to location b we have the exorcist now this is interesting as before it was noted that it was exorcist believer now we're seeing go back to the exorcist um i've been hearing that there have been some problems behind the scenes with the new exorcist movie um there's been no promotion at all for this movie other than the stuff that was dropped at CinemaCon a couple months ago but there's been no post no trailer so I'm not surprised if Universal wants to go back to the original Exorcist as a big IP for this year they've done it before it was pretty popular before I've never experienced the Exorcist so I would be excited to do an Exorcist house even though I haven't heard the best things about it but you know hey you got to give something a chance you can't just go on word of mouth alone you got to try it so I wouldn't be mad if they did another Exorcist house here I think that'd be pretty exciting moving up to the third location we have that pentagram symbol I've heard talks about this being some sort of Salem pilgrim grim something like that in that time period 16 1700s sort of house maybe something to have to do with witches i think that would be pretty cool i offered a lot of my thoughts on this on the last speculation map so i'm not diving into this too much so we're just going to move on to the next one which is a biggie 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 stranger things 4 stranger things 4 is really really exciting stranger things 4 was my favorite season of stranger things thus far and i think it has the best probability of making a great haunted house obviously everything with max and vecna and the creel house and the Hawkins Labs, Eddie's final moments. I think this could be a really, really great house. And if this is something that's going on, I wouldn't be surprised if this is the next announcement we get. Last speculation map, there was a big top secret IP and uh, we don't see that anymore. So I think it is Stranger Things. So that is very, very exciting. And next to that, we have this Castle Dragon House. Now, rumors have been flying around that this is a dueling dragons themed house like the ride from Islands of Adventure. That's really, really exciting if that's true. And if it is true, it might be one of my most anticipated of the year. But I offered my thoughts on this one again in the last video. So if you want to listen to those a little more detail, you can go check that out. But over here in the New York section of the park, we have something unique within the scare zone, and that is Zodiacs. I think a Zodiac themed scare zone would be really cool, sort of showing the dark side of the Zodiac signs. I think it would be a unique take, definitely, for New York. Um, this isn't a huge property. This isn't a huge well-known idea when it comes to Horror Nights. This isn't really something they've done before. Uh, so I think it could be really, really exciting and uh, I would be down for a Zodiac scare zone in New York. Now moving to Fast and Furious, we have Chucky. Obviously that has been confirmed, but I really hope the Fast and Furious location is the location for Chucky. There's a really natural split between the cube portion and the tent. I think it would be a great way to split up both seasons. Now moving from Chucky, we have the San Francisco scare zone, which is a set of horns. And immediately when I think about this, I think about Krampus. I would love, love, love to see a Krampus scare zone. I would love to see a Krampus house. It was on the first speculation map. I was really excited for that. Um, I never got to see the Krampus movie themed house. Um, so I think it'd be really cool to see Universal's take on Krampus and as a scare zone even. I think that's really cool. And honestly, I would kind of prefer that over in New York. I feel like you'd have a little more room for that there. Um, but you know, things could change. This could be the locations. This could totally not even be correct. Um, but I really, really like the idea of a Krampus scare zone. And speaking of another sort of scare zone, we have something new for the first time ever this year. 
Death Eaters in Diagon Alley. Now we're familiar with Death Eaters over in Hogsmeade. They're a staple at this point, both Universal Orlando and Hollywood. The Death Eaters sort of scare zone they had over in Hollywood was really, really successful. I think it'd be cool to insert them somewhere in Diagon Alley, maybe the back section by the Hopping Pot or even Nocturne Alley. I think that would be obviously the best spot to incorporate them. Death Eaters in Diagon Alley, very, very fun. I really uh, hope that is happening. I'm like, like most of the stuff, I'm hoping that this is going on. I'm pretty optimistic when it comes to the speculation map. We have Nightmare Fuel nothing too weird they're just a mainstay at the event at this point so not surprised to see them there and here we see just the letter c in a really ornate pattern now this was the location of the rumored odd fellow house so i'm still thinking this is some sort of odd fellow house um it might be a different take on odd fellow it might not be a specific like carnival theme it could be maybe like a museum because he did have sort of like the museum of horrors um moving down to the second sprung tent of course we have the uh the devil and the guitar going back to that rumor about the crossroads theme robert johnson house i did talk about that in the last speculation map video i still think that's what this is I'm really fascinated by the story of Robert Johnson and seeing Horror Nights do a really dark twisted take on that would be really cool. Moving just next to Men in Black though, we see curiously a house entrance to what I presume is one of the parade buildings um, housing The Last of Us. My prediction was that The Last of Us was going to be in a parade building just because I feel like that's where they put a lot of their bigger IPs and I feel like The Last of Us is the perfect property for a parade building, especially if Stranger Things is in the front as the Stranger Things and Last of Us would be the two biggest properties of this event hands down. So spacing them out would be pretty smart. We already got The Last of Us confirmed, so I'm not too surprised there. And over here in the Simpsons section, we have a Megan-themed horde. Now, Megan has been rumored to be coming to this event since the movie came out in January. Um, people have been talking about, hey, Megan at Halloween Horror Nights. Megan should be at Halloween Horror Nights. Um, I'm actually pretty happy if Megan becomes a horde or a scare zone of some kind. I don't really want to see Megan as a house just because I feel like Megan doesn't really lend itself well to a house format. It could be some sort of like dance flash mob or something more fun than scary. And I think that would be perfect for Megan as Megan wasn't really a super scary movie. Next up, we have the second parade building down here, which is Universal Studios Monsters Paris. This is really curious as I have heard pretty much radio silence on this house, but it's appeared on every single speculation map. So it might be just something that Universal's keeping uh, pretty quiet just because I feel like everybody's kind of assuming they're doing a Universal Monsters House this year. They've done plenty of them in the past. They've been really successful. Legends Collide won House of the Year last year. Phantom of the Opera, Hunchback of Notre Dame, Dracula, you know the deal with this one. We've talked about it before. And Universal Monsters Houses have typically been located in the parade building, so I'm not surprised with that either. Now moving up to the Central Park scare zone where we had Holidays in Hell last time, now we have just Jungle. And I really, really hope this happens because it's been so long since we've gotten any kind of jungle themed house themed scare zone and while i love the pumpkins in central park i feel like this area needs a bit of a break from that so i feel like jungle could be the best theming to fit into the setting while also doing something different it doesn't specify what this is these could be regular sort of animals these could be monsters these could be cryptids nobody really knows what's going on here um it's pretty vague but you know what it's jungle sign me up. And moving along here, we have uh, the entrance to where normally you'd see a Marathon of Mayhem show, and it just says Vamp show. And I feel like we must mention the surrounding scare zone, Vamp 69, which is rumored to be themed around Woodstock, which would make a Vamp themed stage show make sense. And both of these I'm all on board for. I feel like this is something like what they tried with Sweet Revenge last year, tying it into other offerings like the Tribute Store. And considering the Tribute Store is in this area, we could see that also tie into the scare zone. I'm a big fan of the Vamp scare zones. Um, I know some people might find them a bit repetitive, but I really like them. I like how they're able to poke fun at pop culture, play Play with fashion, play with music, and deliver something really, really fun. So yeah, that's the Universal Orlando Horde Night Nightmare Speculation Map Volume 3. I'm really liking what I'm seeing. At this point, this should be pretty close to what we see. Obviously, everything's subject to change, but it wouldn't be surprised if this is pretty close, if not exactly what we see at the event this year. I think as far as IPs go, we got some heavy hitters. We got a good slate. We got The Exorcist. We got Stranger Things. We got Chucky, The Last of Us, Monsters, and Megan. Some fan favorites, some all new concepts. A lot of stuff tying back to Legends. So without further ado, that's all I got here. Thank you all for watching this video. This is really just a quick unscripted re live reaction, live thoughts. I literally just saw the speculation map just before I hit record. Uh, so it was a lot of me looking at it and processing the thoughts in real time. Let me know what you think of this speculation map. I really, really want to know what your thoughts are on this. I know there were some mixed opinions on the last one. I am working on that big 1K subscriber special. So I do want to say at the end of this video, thank you, thank you 
you, thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing to the channel, for really loving the videos, for sharing the videos. You, you guys are awesome. You, you all are incredible, and I love each and every one of you. Um, I want to do a live stream soon, sometime next week, where we could just chop it up, do some question and answers. I uh, have a giveaway planned that I want to announce in that live stream. If you're new and you enjoy Halloween Horror Nights themed videos, speculation updates when the time comes, we're really getting close. It's getting down to the wire. Vlogs when the event happens, tips and tricks and guides and all that fun stuff when it comes to Halloween Horror Nights and theme parks. I do other theme park stuff too on occasion. Like and subscribe to the channel. Come join the club. Uh, we'd be happy to have you. Again, I want to thank you all for watching this video. Thank you to Horror Night Nightmares for dropping something fun this Wednesday. And of course, we'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.